I'm Matt Caterer. Uh, I've been going to First Baptist Church of Geneva for almost two years now. I started a band with my brothers uh, when we were kids, and um, we just kind of always played rock music together. We started a punk rock band called the Smoking Popes, and then we started touring and stuff like that, and we did end up getting discovered and signing to Capitol Records in Hollywood. And that really just sort of took it to a new level, obviously. And it was definitely very exciting and obviously a dream come true. I mean, we were living the dream that we had wanted to achieve, you know. The difference was once we sort of got to where we wanted to get, I've heard a lot of other people say this, once you actually get there, and then there's not this magical thing that happens where you just become this 100% happy person all the time, every second of the day, then like, there's a, there's a darker side to it as well. And along with that, uh, you know, for me, I definitely fell into, and kind of already had been doing anyways, sort of the lifestyle that you would commonly associate with somebody in a rock band as far as uh, a lot of drinking, a lot of substance abuse and stuff like that. And that went on for, you know, pretty much my entire adult life. We were on tour a lot, supporting our albums and stuff in the 90s. And at that point, I had been sort of a, become sort of a spiritual searcher. And I guess I had, I don't really remember, but I guess I had started reading the Bible in hotel rooms. But like, I do definitely remember reading one day in the New Testament, out of one of the Gospels, uh, some teachings of Jesus. And I remember very, being very profoundly affected by what I was reading. And I could just tell that this man was for real and he was somehow connected to God. By increments, I just sort of kept being drawn into him. And I remember one day in particular, this is years before I got saved, but I was really wrestling around with some, some uh, spiritual question that was really just getting to me. And I just remember being absolutely distraught in my apartment in Chicago and just really, really torn up and just there was no answer. And I just was really torn up. And I remember just thinking, man, I got to get out of my house. And so I went down from my apartment. I went through the lobby of my building. And in the lobby of my building, there was this sort of uh, place where people would put books they didn't want or whatever, kind of like a lending library or just to take, the book, to take books. I remember walking over to it and seeing a book, there was a religious book about Jesus right there on the table. And I opened the book up and on that page literally was the answer to the question that I had been wondering about. That seemed obviously very coincidental <laughs> that that had happened like that, you know? So I definitely remember that. And the thing that really got me sort of to really turn was his teaching, half of it, if you really think he's a good teacher, half of it is about how he's actually the son of God and he's really the ultimate source of spirituality. When I really started closing in on coming to faith in Jesus, it, like I remember reading uh, the epistles of St. Paul in the Bible, and he talks a little bit about drunkenness uh, and it made me realize that being an uh, active alcoholic and drug abuser was going to impede my relationship with God and it was going to get in the way of the very spirituality that I was seeking. One of the other things was that I always felt like I couldn't be a Christian because I had all these sort of doubts and um, questions and things about it that I just didn't completely understand and everything like that. And something happened where I finally was shown that it, it wasn't necessarily that I couldn't be a Christian because I had maybe some doubts and some questions. It was possibly that I was a Christian who had some doubts and questions. And that was right before I ended up going to this Christian rock concert. At one point during the show, the singer of one of the bands, the kind of lights came down and the singer of the one of the bands said, who here loves Jesus? And everybody's hand went up. And my hand went up right with them. And at that moment, I knew it was okay to believe. I knew it was okay to let go and have faith in him. And uh, it was beautiful. The gospel has changed my life in so many ways. Obviously, I have been saved 
and save from my destructive uh, lifestyle that I was really uh, struggling with for so long. It's such an overwhelming thing to really understand what has been done for us on the cross and how much He loves us and that all of my sins and my mistakes and my offenses were dealt with on the cross. And I definitely don't want to sit up here and uh, say that I'm somebody that has all the answers or anything like that, but I do know that I do have the answer. I guess if I could say something to somebody like myself years ago that was just a, a searcher, a genuine searcher for the truth, I would just, I, I guess I would just say, just don't give up. Just, just don't give up. Because <laughs> he'll find you.